6 a.m. and 6 a.m. on a Saturday. Normal people aren't up this early. Who said you were normal? I keep having these dreams. I'm 10 again and I'm playing with my dad at the park. Your dad died months ago. I'm on the swings and he keeps pushing me higher and higher and I can reach out and touch the sky. Then I can fly. You can't fly. Why can't you all just go away? How could we go? We're not real. I don't feel so good. You need sleep. You need Thorazine. I'm not crazy. No one called you crazy. Then why are you here? I saw this coming. You were confused. You didn't mean to. I want to know why you did it. What? Chase, don't worry. You look tired. You should rest. You ever notice how every little thought you have is always questioned by some other thought, some other question? Your mind states a question and then your mind presents an answer it sees as reasonable. But when this answer is wrong, then that's when the trouble starts. Two days ago, I lost the bones in my hand. Yeah, they just slipped right out. Right from under the fingernails. Chase, you know that's not possible. They were gone. Where did they go, Chase? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. They're in your hand. I can't feel them. That's because they're not there. That's because there's flesh over them. Don't look now, but your carpet just turned into a cat. Don't pet that cat. You're afraid of cats. And I was going to bite you. No, Chase. It's your carpet. No, it's a cat. Now it's going to bite me. No, Chase. It was a carpet just a minute ago. It's still a carpet. Nope. Still a cat. My interpreters almost never agree. They see things totally different. Sometimes everything is alright, life is normal, people are people, things are in normal time, the carpet is not a cat, but in other times things get confused. All of a sudden things will get thick and dull, everything moves so slow, I'm in some painting and everything is dripping. I can barely even move in the thick fog, but then other times... Everything is so real I can barely handle it. People move quickly, objects fly by me so fast I can't take it. I'm running on a treadmill that doesn't even exist. Hours can take just minutes, and seconds pass by double the time they usually would. It's all in your head. I've come to realize that the glitch between the communication of my interpreters and my mind is what caused me to do this. I want to know why you did it. To stop the debate? What? From the first time I thought of it, I could never forget it. Everything was brought into the debate. I got a bad grade, why not kill myself? Even the good things were thrown into it. That was a really good movie. Maybe I should live. The debate was wearing on me and I was getting tired. Couldn't stop thinking about it, so I wanted to kill the part of me that wanted to kill himself. He was the only part I really hated. You were confused. You weren't thinking straight, Chase. Oh, but see, I was thinking clearly for the first time in a long time. I knew exactly what I wanted. You took 40 pills, Chase. To stop the debate. You tried to kill yourself. Only part of me. You see, what I was looking for was a light that doesn't exist. We all wish it did, but it doesn't. We wish there was a light that could make us young and beautiful, make our lives glamorous and exciting, but mostly we all wish that we could find that glow of happiness forever. I tried to kill off a part of me that was chasing something that did not exist. He was searching for that light, and in the end I find that the only light that is real is that overcasting light that shows only the real us, the imperfect, crazy us.